10 things you didn't know about Fatumata Barbaro. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will uncover 10 little known facts about Fatumata Barbaro, the wife of Gambian President Adama Barrow. From her upbringing in Basset to her philanthropic work with Fatumata Barbaro Foundation, her advocacy for women's rights and gender equality, her commitment to environmental conversation, we will dive into the story of this remarkable woman. Get ready to be inspired of the story of Farmer Barbaro, a woman who is making positive impact on the lives of the people of the Gambia. Here are 10 things you didn't know about her. Number 1. Farmer Barbaro is the wife of current president of the Gambia, Adam Barbaro. She was born in, in Basse, Gambia. The daughter of a businessman, Abdullah Ba, and his wife, Aisa Dujalo. She grew up in a family of three siblings and attended St. George's School in Basse. She comes from a humble background and her mother, Aisa Dujalo, was known for her compassion and generosity towards the poor and needy. Her father, Abdullah Ba, was a businessman. She had a normal upbringing and went to acquire on an education which eventually led her to meet and marry the current president of the Gambia, Adam Barrow. Number 2. Fatumata Barbaro has a professional background in sales and marketing. She worked in the sales and marketing department of the Elton Oil Company and then at Africel until 2008. In addition to her professional work, she has been actively involved in her family business and has, has helped her husband, Adam Barrow, in his real estate business. She is known for being a hardworking and dedicated individual, and her professional experiences have helped her to develop a strong organizational and communication and leadership skills. Number 3. Farmata Barrow is a mother of two, with a son, Mamadou Barrow, and a daughter, Taibo Barrow. Being a mother not only shapes one's personality but also teaches one how to handle different situations in life, which is an important quality to have as a first lady. She's also multilingual, able to speak almost all major local languages in the country, but she's most fluent in Fula and Wolof. Her fluency in different languages has helped her to connect with people from different backgrounds and to understand the cultural nuances of the country. This allows her to effectively communicate with people from various backgrounds and create a sense of unity in the country, which is also crucial for a first lady. She is able to connect with people from all walks of life and is able to make her relatable figure to the general public. Number 4 In 2017, Fatumata Barbaro founded the Fatumata Barbaro Foundation FABB, with the goal of combating poverty and supporting the sick women and children. The foundation runs various programs and initiatives to achieve these goals, such as providing financial assistance to those in need, supporting education and health care, and promoting the arts and culture. She is known for her philanthropy and her desire to make a positive impact on the lives of the less privileged in the Gambia. This is perhaps what she is mostly known for. Number 5. The Fatumata Barbaro Foundation FABB has raised millions of dollars since it was formed. Most of her income is derived from her foundation as she does not receive a paycheck. The foundation has implemented various projects and initiatives to combat poverty and support the sick women and children. It provides financial assistance, education support and healthcare support for those in need. The foundation's efforts have been widely recognized and appreciated by uh, the community and have had tangible impact on the lives of the people that it serves. Number 6. The foundation has been accused of stealing $33 million, but the foundation called on the government in to publicly disclose the transfer and clear Barbaro's reputation. The money was intended as financial support for the official trip of the president to China and it was transferred to the foundation account since direct access to the funds were possible at that time. The foundation has denied any wrongdoing and has called for transparency and accountability in handlings of the funds. 
everyone young and old would have remembered the famous protest deemed Fatu Kodule. Number 7. Her foundation has partnered with, with numerous international organizations such as Al Balsam International to help improve the health conditions in the Gambia. This partnership has enabled the foundation to provide better healthcare services to the people of the Gambia and to achieve its goal of improving the overall health and well-being of the population. The partnership with Al Balsam International has enabled the foundation to provide medical equipment, train health professionals and support the health clinics and hospitals in the country. Additionally, the foundation has worked to raise awareness about health issues and promote preventive measures to improve the health of the population. Number 8. The foundation is known for supporting education and healthcare initiated initiatives as well as promoting the arts and culture in the Gambia. The foundation provides financial assistance to children from low-income families to attend schools and pay, pays for the school fees and uniforms. Additionally, it provides scholarship to students who excel in their studies but are unable to afford higher education. In healthcare sector, the foundation provides financial assistance and support to people with medical conditions to go over for overseas treatment. The foundation also supports the creative arts industry by promoting de development of arts and culture in the Gambia. It helps creative talents in the country to showcase their talent by providing financial assistance and promoting their work. This has helped to promote cultural her heritage of the country and to provide young talents with the opportunity to pursue their talent and passions. Number 9 Fatumata Barbaro is a vocal advocate for women's rights and gender equality. She has spoken out against gender-based violence and discrimination and has worked to empower women and girls through her foundation and other initiatives. She has been involved in various campaigns and initiatives aimed at promoting gender equality and women's empowerment in the Gambia. For example, through her foundation, she has provided financial assistance and mentorship to young girls to help them complete their education and pursue their career goals. Additionally, she has worked to raise awareness about gender-based violence and has supported organizations that provide legal aid, counseling, and other services to survivors. Number 10. Fatima Daba Barrow is also committed to environmental conservation and sustainable development. She has worked to promote the use of renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power in the Gambia and is an advocate for policies and initiatives to protect the country's natural resources. Her foundation has implemented various projects that promote environmental con conservation and sustainable development in the Gambia. For example, tree planting, recycling and other environmental education programs. She has also supported the development of ecotourism in the country and encouraged conservation of the country's wildlife and habitats. Well viewers, in conclusion, whether you like her or not, Fatima Barbaro is a remarkable woman who is making positive impact on the lives of the people of the Gambia. We hope that this video has given you a deeper understanding of who she is and what she stands for. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and sub subscribe for more information. For more interesting content rather like this. We want to thank you for watching and hope you will join us in our journey to discover more about the people and stories that shape the Gambia. Hit the notification button so you never miss an upload from us. Thank you for your support. See you in the next one.